Hi everyone, it's Paper One, and I'm back with another flip through. This time um, of this journal. <laughs> I'm full of ink, sorry. <laughs> um, that was a present from my friend Ray. Um, he did send it to me for my birthday, I think. And it's really, really small, as you can see. Um, probably like an A5 size. Uh, not A5. Mm, A6, sorry. I just woke up. <laughs> I'm not ready yet to talk in depth about things. Okay, yeah, it's an A6. <clears throat> Let's start quick. I was like in the middle of my morning pages and I thought, you know what? Let's do this quick. Even though it defeats the whole purpose of morning pages, but... <clears throat> You know, I get a visitor soon, and um, I uh, don't will not have the time or space to do the flip through. So I just do it now. Here I wrote about my family. We have a huge family tree. Uh, I'm not talking too much about my challenge days, okay, because if you follow the challenge, you will recognize the pages, and if you don't, then it doesn't interest you, probably, so, no. Nah. <clears throat> um, my grandparents from my mom's side, but they're both dead. It's really sad. I have no grandparents, you know. I have no grandparents, which is really sad. I'm really jealous of everyone who has like really nice grandmother who is knitting um, socks <laughs> on each Christmas and stuff like this, you know. It's, it's something that I only see in movies. And I thought it was so funny how she was holding this cat. <laughs> In Stardew Valley, I don't know if you know, but Stardew Valley is one of my favorite farm games. So I made it all witchy looking. <clears throat> With a mod pack. I got some Halloween crisps that looked like little ghosts. Here I wrote about my city and printed out some vintage pictures of um, well, certain places of my city you know, that I can still recognize today, but this is from the early 1900s. <clears throat> like a classroom in 1920. Sorry, I, I tried to make focus, but this thing is not staying open if I take my hand away from here. And in this classroom, they had like real dead animals, like birds, you know, stuffed birds and stuff, which I, I think is kind of, <clears throat> well, you wouldn't see this in nowadays classrooms. <laughs> My favorite food and drink in fall season, apple cake and cappuccino. Not any, like... I cannot eat it anymore. I will tell you later why. <laughs> I can eat nothing anymore. Um, this is a painting I did of Trion, I um, my twin soul, because I felt like it. Here I felt felt nostalgic. Um, I was looking through my old Linkin Park fan fictions, <clears throat> and. Um, in, in my fan fictions, I always stole this hoodie from Mike, so um, yeah, I was thinking about it and felt like, I don't know, I don't know, like the olden days when I was like 15, you know, when I wrote the first fan fictions. Can't believe it's 17 years ago. Let's see what they are. A really long time ago.
here I found out that I'm a star seed. I was the first of all um, writing all of this shit down, and everything is like, um, no, basically, as if someone wrote about me. And so this is how I found out actually that I'm a star seed. Page about witches. Here I was writing about Agatha and the inner earth land, and yeah, gluten, glut, gluten. <laughs> In Germany we say gluten, I think so. Yeah, I'm on a gluten-free diet now, and I can almost not eat anything anymore that I liked, so, yeah. I try to eat um, things that contain life energy, yeah? life force, which is fresh fruits, veggies, uh, um, grains, nuts, and soya products. The more life energy you take in with your um food the more vi vital you feel yourself that's the thing <laughs> um i <laughs> bought two new journals from inside editions a buffy one and a harry potter one and oh god i cannot wait for them i really want to try es especially the buffy one even though i think the Ravenclaw one would fit the winter season much better. I could put on some s snowflakes on the blue and it would match, right? But, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I will go with my feeling. <laughs> Everyone who is following Graveyard Girl on YouTube uh, knows about Robertina, <laughs> her haunted doll. And uh, it was the the topic of my journal challenge so this is why i wrote about it i mean there are so many haunted dolls outside but this one was a recent story so why not draw a big pumpkin this is how everyone imagines fall season but in reality, like when it's like raining all the time and it's gray all the time, like sometimes it's really depressing, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> but we have a really nice fall season this year. We really have a lot of leaves and beautiful leaves. I remember like two years or three years ago, we had no fall season. It went straight from summer to winter and... um. The trees lost <clears throat> all the leaves before even turning brown. So yeah, that was that sucked. But this time is better. Here I got some different spooky um, crisps, but those were made out of puffy corn or something. So no gluten. <laughs> and that was yesterday's pages, I think. Me without my asthma spray. Uh, and my favorite album turned 17 years old. This is as long as how I'm a Linkin Park fan. So, kind of. Like, I became a fan, like, after the New Year's. Like, in the beginning of the year. So. But almost. I'm almost 70 years. 17 years. On here, there's um, an envelope. <clears throat> from a little um, letter that I got from a friend fitted perfectly into here so I am using it that's it I started this on um, let's see on October the 9th and today is the 25th right so oh, yeah 16 days I filled half of this in 16 days so I give myself 15, 16 days for the other half too. It's like um, 
since the pages are so small and my handwriting is not so small, like this is my standard handwriting, um, I fill up sometimes up to 10 pages a day. So yeah, I enjoy it because it's a gift, but I look forward to have more space and maybe I'm lucky and um, well, the inside editions journals that arrive at this point when I'm finished this. That would be great, right? Okay. <laughs> Bye.